This isn't going to work well. It's fun. Hey, if you want to resolve some things in your life, then son of a gun, have we got a show for you. And it starts right now. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It's time for The Dirt Show. With your favorite host, The Dirt Guy. And it starts right now. <laughs> Woo! You guys know I love that music, right? It is awesome music. I think I'm coming a little hot. Coming in a little hot, people. Just going to turn that down a little bit. Hey, welcome to The Dirt Show. My name is Steve Brown. I am The Dirt Guy. And on this show, we talk about random crap that will change your life. It's entertaining. It's educational. It's empowering. If you're into that sort of thing, why not just subscribe and then go ahead and push that little bell icon so you can catch future videos. And if you're not into that sort of thing, baby... All I can say is you need to resolve some things because <laughs> it's New Year's resolution. And that's what I'm going to do on the broadcast today. Today, we are going to talk about New Year's resolutions. First of all, we're going to talk about uh, some of my New Year's resolutions. And uh, we're going to talk about the reasons why people fail in the resolutions. And then we're going to give you some tips on how to <clears throat> maintain, to hit those goals and uh, some stuff that hopefully you guys will really be able to take away from this. But to help me do that, coming up here in, oh, about eight minutes, I am bringing in live from Kansas City, Missouri, a friend of mine and kind of a mentor, although <laughs> you'll say he's not. You'll say he's just a friend. <clears throat> Ron Marsh is coming in to join us in about seven, eight minutes here on the broadcast. But you know the way this show works, the first thing we do to get going, boom, as we go over to chat, chat people, who's over in chat? Ron Stimson is in chat. Good afternoon, Ron. He likes to say good morning, whatever. And Ron Marsh is here with a wrench. Now, this is a unique situation. My guest on the show today is also in chat as a moderator. <laughs> He's going to have to put himself on timeout. I find that phenomenally funny. Mike Heath, good evening. Thanks for being here, brother. Claude Christ. Hi, y'all, he says. Hey, listen, chat people, here's the deal. Um, first of all, uh, you see the wrench, and that means that Ron's a moderator, which I still think, I do hear it occur to me how, how just ridiculous that is, that he's, 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 he owns the show, basically. Anyway, the wrenches are the moderators. They are here to make sure we're having a good time, keep us on topic, and to put the naughty people on timeout. But actually, um, on my show, if you're obnoxious or naughty or something, they just kick you the hell off the show. We don't have time for that kind of crap on my show. Oh, oh look, Dustin's in Scale Railroad. Good evening. Welcome to your first time ever on The Dirt Show. So anyway, let's move back over to me for a minute, shall we? Boom. Hey, how do you like the firework background? Um, got a lot of show to get through before we get to our special guest ron marsh coming to us live from kansas city missouri now that's cool i am in los angeles california he is in kansas city missouri oh it's awesome i sound like i'm stalling but i'm not um great show packed in today we're gonna do that with ron we've got the keto minute today um a couple of announcement kind of things and uh unlike normal our normal show i'm just want to Get a bunch of that crap out of the way first so we don't have to interrupt Ron. Um, well, not like he's going to speak for 40 minutes. <laughs> That's my job for crying out loud. Anyway, um, but I got to tell you something. Uh, you guys know that we're into the keto here, right? That is like low or no carbs, high healthy fats, kind of moderate proteins. And we have our own resident keto coach certified and everything right here in 
uh, the studio. Actually, she recorded this earlier. But we've got the Keto Minute, a great feature here. And I want to just jump right to it because um, you guys think we just pipe this stuff off. But when you hear this, you'll realize that other people who aren't us are starting to agree. Watch this. Hi guys, I am Cindy Brown with Everybody Keto, and this is your Keto Minute. I am holding in my hand a piece of paper that I am going to say is the start of a revolution. You have heard Crazy Cindy be talking about the benefits, the health benefits of a ketogenic lifestyle for a little while now. What I have in my hand is a summary from the American Diabetes Association that basically is saying that their guidelines for 2019, and I'm going to quote this document, uh, the American Diabetes Association released a joint position statement in conjunction with the European Association for the Study of Diabetes, which approved use of a low carbohydrate diet as a medical nutrition therapy for adults with type 2 diabetes. Guys, this is huge. This is one of the first times that a national medical association has not only sort of suggested but approved a low carbohydrate uh, diet and lifestyle for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. Those of us who know about keto know that that's one of the first things that improves when you lower your carbs and start the ketogenic lifestyle is your blood sugar levels just go right to normal. The, uh, the paper goes on to say that they, uh, they did a couple studies and they found that they have, the ADA has concluded that a low carbohydrate diet may result in A, lower blood sugar levels, it may be lower the use of blood sugar lowering medications, i.e. you won't need insulin any longer, and C is effective for weight loss. So if you want to know more information, if you're ready to make 2019 a fresh start and get yourself healthy and off your diabetes medications and uh, have healthy blood sugar levels, either hit me or the dirt guy up and we will be happy to get you some links and resources. Guys, this is Cindy Brown with Everybody Keto. And this has been your Keto Minute. That's your Keto Minute, people. Now, listen, I, I'm telling you what, what Cindy Brown, the queen of keto, is saying is it's not just Stephen Cindy saying you got to get the carbs out. Now, they went halfway because they went to um, like 120 carbs. You got to go to like 20, baby. If you want to look this good and be this healthy, maybe that's a New Year's resolution We'll get back to that in a minute. Look, we're getting ready to bring Ron Marsh, our guest host on, um, co-host, guest co-host on. But I think first, I'd like to just uh, jump back over to chat. Boom. Hello, chat people. We're still here. You guys still there? Jeff Morgan's jumping in saying, hello, dirt guy. Hello, Jeff Morgan. Welcome to the broadcast. So you chat people, you get, you've been thinking about New Year's resolutions, right? At all? Are you thinking about it? Because that's what we're talking about tonight. And not just like my whack job, uh, New Year's resolutions, people. We're talking about some real helpful advice. Well, nobody in chat seems to give a flying crap right now. So uh, we'll move away from that. I've just got uh, one other thing I think I'm going to do. I think tonight we're going to skip the fun fact. All right. I'll give you a bonus one later. I'm just real excited to get to our guest man it's like two minutes but i want to give you this ready wait for it <laughs> this time i warned you it was coming all right wait for it boom and there it is Woo. oh my god though hey breaking news i don't know how it happened i don't know why it happened but i gotta tell you it has happened people on December 18th, this channel had 68 subscribers, of which we were grateful for all of them, including the ones we didn't pay. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, as of, like, right now, there's, like, 760 or some crap. Whoa! I don't know where all those subscribers came from. You guys are awesome. So, it's funny because I got all these subscribers. There's, like, five people over there. Uh, watching the show right now, which is great because, you know, a lot of people uh, are catching this on the replay. Like right now there's 12 watching. That's pretty awesome, I think. Uh, 12 people watching. I'll take, I'll take it if it was one. Sometimes, sometimes I do this show with nobody watching. I just do it because I like the show. I like to hear myself talk. Like right now. 
Is this annoying anybody or is this just me? Am I the only one being annoyed by me right now? All right, listen, I got to tell you, enough stalling, enough lollygagging around right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a friend. His name is Ron Marsh, and he lives a long way away. I've never met him face to face other than electronically. And I have a goal in 2019 that says I'm going to fly back there and see his ass. Hang out. Chop it up. Like I'm doing now without him. I can hear him. He's in his studio right now. I can hear him. He's like, put me on the damn show. What's taking so long? I've been sitting here all day. What the hell? All right, listen. Ron Marsh, friend of mine, knows a lot about New Year's resolution, has been working with me on resolving my own, and now I will introduce to you, boom, Ron Marsh on the broadcast. Hey, before we get going, Ron, I got to let everybody know, this whole Kansas City, LA thing is causing a bit of an echo. We sound like we're in star freaking wars or something, all right? So, Ron, yeah, like Star Wars. Well, I'm a Star Wars fan, too, but not necessarily on my own damn broadcast, but whatever. I don't know. So, hey, Ron, uh, welcome to the broadcast. It's really good to have you here all the way from KC. It's great to be here. Uh, you got to get some better snacks in that green room. That's the only thing I can say. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to Cindy Brown, the queen of keto, about that. Boom. See, I've got an answer for everything. That's why you love me. It's got to be why you love me. I don't know. Hey, so Ron, as you already know, we are going to be talking about New Year's resolutions um, on this broadcast today. And, and not just so much, uh, you know, sorry, I have a piece of peanut on my tongue. You want some? Here, here's a snack, Ron. You want a snack? <laughs> Get her done. Thank you. Mm. Um, <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long It's to make up for the snacks in the green room. <laughs> it's going to be a long ass show, bro. <laughs> All right, listen. Oh, God, what the hell was I going to say? Oh, you know we're talking about New Year's resolutions, right? And, um, and there's, I think, there's, I think there's, there's three things that we want to talk about relative to New Year's resolutions. But, you know, it's open mic night, so whatever you want to do. But uh, perhaps the first thing that we ought to cover is, um, like, the top New Year's resolutions, right? And, and then as a part of that, I wouldn't mind talking a little bit about like your New Year's resolution. I almost, I, almost, I almost told everybody what it was. Miscellaneous. Anyway, and then my New Year's resolution too. I've got one too. And, uh, and it's not the one where I'm going to run around covered in green jello wearing ladies underwear. That's not. I tried that last year. Ron didn't work out. December 3rd. <laughs> I went to bed December 31st and it just didn't work out. So anyway, um, so why don't you be thinking about that, Ron? And if you want, uh, why don't you and I now just go over to chat together because we got a couple of new people over there. Um, over in chat, everybody say hi to Ron. Ron's right here in chat with us right now. And, and doesn't he look handsome? Doesn't he a handsome man? Anybody think he's handsome? I think he's handsome. He's more handsome here than here. Oh, see, same... <laughs> Shameless plug from Ron on his, uh, he's got a shirt. Man, you know, on the screen, your head's bigger than mine. Man, now I got, <laughs> I got freaking head envy now. This, this isn't going well. I'm getting my ass handed to me by Ron Marsh. Hey, Ron, over in chat right now. Is that better? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you go all the way back by the mountains back there? Um, <laughs> Hey, we have a New Year's resolution already coming into chat, Ron. It's by, from Claude Chris. says, my New Year's resolution, get my layout moving. Well, he's a railroad guy. And, uh, there you go. Uh, I, I, I know nothing about railroads, uh, frankly, on this channel. But wait till you guys see my railroad show. Oh, my God. I, I did. Oh, later. I digress. Uh, whatever works is like, and this is my New Year's Eve as it's my last night at my age. Well, that's that's Ron Stimson bringing that in, uh, Mr. Marsh. I don't I don't know that we can follow that up with anything. I think I think he stymied me. I think we're going to just cancel the show. Thanks, Ron uh, <laughs> Stimson. Thanks, buddy. Just you just killed the whole damn thing. Dustin Zinscale Railroad is saying I can hear the echo all the way up thirty five in Des Moines. LOL. LOL back. Ron, I, I, I'm sorry, brother. I'm not exactly tracking on all the chat happening right here. I think it's the echo. It's farking up my head. 
whatever works is laughing. Uh, oh, wow. Dexter Dog 62 going straight to the mockery. Uh, Battle of the Beards. Um, you're winning. You've got a bigger head and a full beard. Oh, my God. And a full head of hair. You don't get to be on the show anymore. Ever again. Uh, Claude Christ is saying hi to Ron. Claude Christ, one of your buddies, is saying hi, Ron. Hey, Claude. And uh, whatever works railroad says I need a green shirt. Okay, you people are killing me. You're killing me over there in the chat. Ron, I love you, baby. You but I, You couldn't wear a green shirt. You would just be a floating head right now if you were wearing a green shirt. I think that's what, I think that's what they're they're insinuating. You know, I can just that put Ron... Be. I can just put Ron on the show by his... <laughs> No, screw it. Here, watch. Here, th here's something. Ron, you can't see me this at your angle, but I, I'm just going to show him something. Here, watch this. Boom. I can just put Ron on by himself. Ron's all by himself. Ron, it's your show. I'm I'm going to get a beer and take a leak. I'll be right back. <laughs> so, I can't control anything, but I'm it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, we didn't rehearse any of it. All right. I don't like it when it's just you on the screen. Boom. I'm back. Hey, so Ron, uh, New Year's resolutions, right? In um, in your experience, well, sc screw your experience for a minute. Who cares what you think? <laughs> What's uh, I'll I'll tell you what. I'll fire the first shot. So to make it a little more comfortable, after that, I want you to run the show because I have some model railroad crap I want to go do. <laughs> you know, I was coming up with a bunch of different New Year's resolutions, like examples, and and frankly, none of them none of them work for me. Um, you know, stuff about smoking, drinking, getting a better job, blah, 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 blah. It's like blah, 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 whatever. None of that works. But I got to do something, right? Um, and Ron, you, you might want to expand on this a little bit later, but this is this is an opportunity to do something life-changing, right? It's not a joke. The uh, the green jello lingerie one is clearly a joke, right? Right. <laughs> At least that's what I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> um, so actually, in, in, in thinking about it, uh, this this is remarkable. This is a rebuilding year for the Browns over here. We just moved into a new house. Got to set up housekeeping. I'm starting a brand new model railroad. Um, my my business has been spun all the way down to almost nothing. We need to rebuild that. So there's a bunch of that kind of stuff uh, happening in my life. So so what do I do as a New Year's resolution? And that that led my thinking to mine. I need to. I'm resolving to do better with compartmentalizing my time because I can't do all of those things at once. Right. You feel me, Ron? Sure, I can. Absolutely. I, it's like, okay, I need to designate this, designate that, that, and that. So I can try to get it all done. Cause what'll happen to me is I will spend all day thinking about, I don't know, my model railroad, let's say. Meanwhile, I'm not listening to the wife and building that relationship um, I'm obsessing about it, so I'm not getting work done around the house, yada, yada, yada. So, so that's where I'm at. Now, I'll tell you, I'll tell you how I'm going to get there, and uh, I think as the show progresses. But right now, Ron, what's, what's your, do you have a New Year's resolution, a big one, like that you want to talk to us about for a minute? Uh, well, yeah, I have a couple that I'll, I'll talk a little bit about. Um, uh, and I'll talk some more about some of the background, you know, to this. Uh, I'm making a, uh, a, a, a real push for one of those kind of stereotypical uh, ones that you've talked about. And, and that is just uh, making some real uh, changes with regard to uh, weight loss and, and, and health and some of those. And um, most people, you know, from YouTube don't know me back this far, but, but about, you know, about six or seven years ago, I, I made a real commitment to lose some serious weight. I've, I've had some health issues that are a result of being overweight, and and um, and and I did I did I, I did fantastic for almost two years. I lost like 60 pounds. I was running you know six or seven miles a day. I was doing great, and then I fell apart. And so uh, the big part of my New Year's resolution this year uh, is to kind of reclaim that. You know. Um, and, um, I think that, that reclaiming things, maybe when we've fallen down, something we might want to talk about that, you know, a little bit later with regard to some of those new year's resolutions, but, uh, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be working to, to jumpstart that process in my life. And, uh, I don't want to let too much out of the bag too quick, but there might be something YouTube related with regard to another channel that I may be, uh, starting 
uh, that uh, would relate to that in the coming year. And so that's something you might want to watch for some announcements about over the course of the next few weeks and months. Are you making us privy to some news? Are you telling us something you haven't told the rest of the world? I'm not telling you anything, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm, Forget I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm hinting, I'm, I'm suggesting uh, that, that there sucks. might be something out there in the works called Ron's Fitness Journey that people might want to kind of keep an eye out for. Well, down the road. Okay, so yes, you are announcing something. You <laughs> listen, because I this show, man, we want some momentum, so we want late breaking news. I could have done that news thing, but then it would cut off your audio, and that wouldn't work. <laughs> okay, but here you, you really nailed me on the six to seven miles a day. You used to yeah, run I was running. Well, that might be a slight exaggeration. I was running a minimum of four every day. I was doing uh, six plus two days a week. Wow. Uh, I was actually training to run my first 10K. Uh, I'd run several 5K races because that's what keeps me. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that if I'm going to do something like that, I've got to have something to kind of set as goals to keep me going. And so I just started running races. I've got a guy locally who's a friend of mine who is my fitness hero He's 63 years old. He ran cross country in high school and nobody ever told him that he could quit Hmm. and he's still running. And uh, so I would go and run races with him. When I say run with him, we would be together at the starting line and we would be together at the snack table, but nowhere in between because, you know, he he, he wins these things. He was just gone, huh? Yeah, but he was he was great encouragement. Um but anyway, I'd run several 5Ks, was getting ready to run my first, you know, was pr- kind of training towards my first 10K, and without getting into all the details, just some things happened, and, and mm. it all kind of fell apart. So I'm trying to reclaim that now, uh, which has to do with the running program, it has to do with the diet, it has to do with a whole lot of stuff. Um, but um, Well, there you go, that's listen. One, that's, that's my big my big one for the year. I have, I have some others too, but that's, that's my big thing and uh, you know if i can I, I i got an early jump uh, I, I made my first run today well, so okay. i'm trying to get a jump on new year's made my my first uh my first run today um it wasn't pretty but <laughs> I, I just fun. can't imagine a man of your stature running being pretty ron i'm sorry well hey, I, no. <laughs> good, you know what and it, tur- it turns out ron's getting paid by the word right now so He's going to do a lot of sermonizing, baby. I'm just telling there you. There you go. He's, he, wants to com- <laughs> he wants to compete with me. Hey, um, I'll, I'll tell you what. Let's go over to chat real quick. You got some other people going in, uh, coming in over there, some familiar faces. And um, boom, over in chat. Look at that action. Hey, so you guys, you hear any of this new resolution stuff? What's your New Year's, res- new Year's resolution? Uh, what do you think it is? And then uh, my stupid chat window's not working again. Oh, I just... Th- I, we have been plagued with so many tech problems today. Um, <laughs> hold on, we're gonna move away from it, and then we're gonna move back to it, and nothing changed. Well, f it, we're still going. Hey, Mikey Heath is saying New Year's resolution: find friends who buy their own beer, so I can spend more on my railroad. Well, there you go, Ron. <laughs> so far, we're batting a thousand on this topic, brother. <laughs> Outlaw Bill's saying hi. He's here. Hastings BNSF. Can't control anything but responsible. Sounds like marriage. Okay, I, it's people are being cryptic tonight. I don't know. Oh, look, chat just popped back up. Um, hey, there's some more wrenches are here, Ron. You might know some of these guys. I am com is in the house now, and so is Midwest Model Railroad. Boom. How you doing, brothers? And on and on and on. Well, okay. The chat, chat. You know, they're so in awe of what we're doing right now that they can't even chat right now. They're speechless. That's what I'm saying. That's my story. I'm going to stick to it. So, you know something, uh, Brother Ron over there. Let me go back to the right screen. Boom. Hey, there you are. Um, So, on this New Year's resolution thing, I read a statistic uh, that said that like 9% to 12% of people that set their New Year's resolutions actually are able to achieve them. And, you know, that's a, a huge uh, failure rate, right? Uh, a matter of fact, it, it's funny, speaking of, of those kinds of things, 
um, back in the day when I used to uh, participate in the recovery uh, stuff, the success rate of people in recovery was like 12%. So I, I don't know if there, I, there's some kind of a tie in there where it's like, you know, yeah, I think they're related. Yeah. I, I, I think so. I, so. Stopping smoking, stopping drinking, stopping eating, stopping, 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 whatever it's going that you're going to like refrain from to get your life together. It seems like the best case scenario, 12 percent of the people can actually make that happen. And everyone else just ends up, um, you know, sucking on it. So, I mean, what do you, what do you think of that? Uh, uh, is what would you say is sort of a contributing factor or the overriding factor and people just not be able to get to it? Well, I, I, I wonder whenever they count that, like, you know, 12%, 10%, whatever, uh, how they're counting that. Are they, are they saying every year, you know, everybody who, who, who tries and they fail, that counts as one. And then if they try again and fail, that counts as another one. You know mm. what I'm saying? Um, because I think, uh, I, I think the one, one of the things that many of us struggle with is a sense of failure. And, and that is the idea that, okay, I'm going to, you know, try to, you know, eat better, you know, this year, this, you know, I'm going to cut out some things. I'm going to, you know, add, you know, some better things to my diet. Uh, and then somewhere mid January, you know, I go on a binge and, you know, I, you know okay, I'm a mess. Uh, now I have a decision to make, okay? My year is not going to be perfect for my resolution. So do I just give up or do I make the decision to fail forward, learn from that and say, okay, I'm going to pick up tomorrow and we're going to keep going, you know? Um, you know, I, I think that, I think that sense that, you know, a single failure is, is final and is fatal uh, really, it really hurts a lot of us. I, you know, I, I think it, I think you touched on something there because I think I've ex seen or experienced the same kind of thing. And, and it, it I think it, 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 it's people trying to treat it like a sprint instead of a marathon, I think in, in some regard. Um, yes. and that is you try to get to it too fast. And so your expectation is, you know, within a week, you're not going to be smoking anymore or whatever your thing is. And, uh, and so that means if you, within that first little period of time, you blow it, let's say, then, well, screw it. It's never going to happen. It's over. It's off. Because you're not thinking about it the long run. And I, and I think it, it's really significant what you're saying. And, and that is, okay, so you failed. Is it over? You wait till December 31st of that year to try it again? You just right. keep going. Um, I mean, uh, we hey. both, go ahead. I was going to say, if, if I can respond to, to a comment in chat that relates to this. Uh, I just have yes, to you may. I give you my <laughs> permission. That's how uh, I roll, Dustin's, baby. Dustin's in scale railroad, and I'm not sure what he's referring back to, but he says, I give you guys credit for recommitting. I started with the drive, but lost it. Wished I could get it back. I, I, I want to respond to that because there is a, there is a myth out there uh, that uh, motivation is like some commodity that we need to go out and find and gather up in order to get started. Motivation is a myth. If we are trying to do anything and we're waiting to get motivated, the likelihood is we will never do it. I learned a long time ago, and I learned it the hard way, uh, but I learned that we are much more likely to act ourselves into being motivated than we are to motiv motivate ourselves into action. If I get out there and just start doing, uh, then over time, I feel more like doing that as I feel like more of a success. I have to work my way into being motivated. If I wait for motivation to hit me, likelihood is I'm never going to get going. Today, for me, for example, I made my first run. I had planned to do that today. Uh, it was, uh, the storm came through today, a cold front came through. I didn't get to run until about five o'clock. It was getting dark. It was about 40 degrees. The wind was blowing about 40 miles an hour. It was miserable. I didn't want to do it. I was tired. I wanted to go take a nap, <laughs> but I forced my way through. And you know what? By the time I got done, I felt, I, I felt good. I was like, I am so glad that I did this. Um, you can't wait for motivation. Bring motivation by acting. Okay, in the sermon. <laughs> well, no, I, I like your sermon uh, actually, uh, Ron. But I'm just I'm just wondering if if part of that then is is also so if we're going to pull motivation out of it for a minute. 
I mean, people say, what's your motivation to this? What's your motivation to that? And, and, I, and I, I, I'll say, <clears throat> so we can keep it controversial on this show, so we get lots of views. I'll say I'm on the yeah. fence with agreeing with you on that. Um, but what I will also say is I find it very hard to stay motivated sometimes uh, at all. And, and so maybe motivation is not what I'm actually grasping. Maybe that's what I think it is, but it's not. But it, it is a matter of, there are 365 days in this year, and I don't need to take that full step in the first day. Um, right. All I need to do is, uh, what am I going to set out to do today towards that goal and achieve it? And, and I, I think you make a lot of sense, in my opinion, a lot of sense in saying, as you start hitting those little goals, that almost becomes, if we're going to say motivating, self-motivating, but self-fueling, right? It starts right. driving you on and on. You start feeling good about yourself. As a matter of fact, just a, a quick little sidebar. Let's talk about me for a minute because I'm my favorite subject. Um, I uh, ran You're into my favorite thing. subject too. So. I am your favorite subject. I know. Cindy, Cindy, the first lady moderating, and uh, Queen Aikido, not her favorite subject. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> she just keeps me around because... Shit, I don't know why she keeps me around. She must love me. Anyway, um, Ron, as you know, because one of the reasons the idea behind us being together on this show was some of the dialogue we were having about what kind of I was going through just before I did last week's Christmas episode, right? And um, uh, that reminds me, we got to congratulate some winners here. Don't let me forget, Ron. Um, but I, I made the, the conscious thought that I was going to get outside myself, I was going to love other people, I was going to be friendly and chipper and whatever, right? And I, I'm going somewhere with this, people, okay? Just work with me for a minute. Um, so as I started just making myself do that, I found it was like, I don't know, in some weird way, you'd almost think like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It just, it started fueling itself to within, for me, it was a very short period of time. I went from schlep rock to, hey, let's get her done. Hey, have a great day. Merry Christmas. So maybe the maybe the, the resolution thing is something like that too. It's like as you you set a small attainable little goal for tomorrow, mm -hmm. and hit that goal, boom! Wow, you're one three hundred sixty fifth of the way there, or something like that. Hey, let's run over to chat again real quick, if you don't mind, there, brother Ron, because boom, there's oh. there's a lot of talking happen over here in chat right now. What's that about? Let's see over here in chat right now. Um, we've got. Uh, <laughs> Eric Hall over at IMRRO.com saying, fix everything, then fix the world, then get back to the trains before December. Uh, Ron, we might have to talk to him about his unrealistic goals because he apparently is going to fix everything and the world and then get back to his railroad by December. I hope he, I hope he does. It'll make my life a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Hey, Eric, you need to fix our world, baby, because I don't have time. Right. I'm too busy hanging out with Ron Marsh. Dustin Zinske, I'll give you guys credit. We already saw that one. Uh, reference to you throwing it to Ron. I throw a lot of crap to Ron, baby, because I love that man. I give him a lot of crap, too. My key that's what form I do. I catch crap. That's what I do. That's you do? You catch crap? <laughs> Matter of fact, that's like an almost an inside joke, too. Right, Ron? Uh, but we're, we'll share that on on the, uh, the Nick Knack channel or something. <laughs> Not here. I don't want you to lose your job. Hey, uh, whatever works railroad, I'm quitting smoking and have a plan to make it work this time. Interesting. I'd be Good. interested to more hear that. More power to you. Yeah, more power to you, quitter. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I smoke. I, I have no intention of quitting. But hey, more power to you. And actually, see what I did right there, people? I was playing the role of dream killer right now. It's like, oh, you quitter. Ah, stupid idiot. Smoking. Quit smoking. Whatever. No, don't let anybody like me, or especially Ron Marsh, uh, squash your dreams. Ha! I just made you a dream squasher, Ron. <laughs> dream killer, that's what I am. Dream killer. You, know, right. you got to pick know, up what, the what, verbs. Whatever the, goal, whatever the goal, whatever the resolution, just having a goal and having a plan for getting there, that, that's like three-fourths the battle. That, that's, that's awesome, whatever the goal is. And actually, as... Uh, Coming up here pretty quick, everyone. Uh, I think I've got my own thoughts on that. I think I've got my own thoughts. Well, wow, that was that was deep. This is you don't get this on any other live broadcast. Me Woo. twisting my. What was that, Ron? You got gas? Did you eat something? <laughs> Excuse me. I think I think I think Ron ran too hard 
actually. I think stuff's coming out the back. Um, so anyway, um, no, I just coming up here, let's get through some more chat action for a second, but uh, I have some thoughts on setting those goals. And I, Ron, I know you've got some thoughts on setting those goals we'll talk about, but still over in chat real quick. Anybody else have anything exciting going on? Outlaw Bill says, hit the like button, people. Boom, loving the Outlaw Bill right now. Hey, Outlaw Bill, um, we're going to make you a moderator on Dirt Chicken Scripted too. Make sure you tune in on Sunday, okay? Dustin Zenscale, since the military, then I saw him drop over. I'm coming in late on that discussion. I'm sorry, Ron. I'm trying to make some sense of chat over here. And uh, everybody's just, uh, they're just chit-chatting along. Hey, uh, real quick, um, I'll have to get the information off my phone. Ron, I'm, I'm going to do a little housekeeping right now. Es su permiso which means with your permission. I think that's what it means. Okay. You're still you're still on the screen though, so no picking your nose or anything right now, okay? Cuz everyone's going to oh, well, know. You know. Here stall. I'm trying to resist. Here stall for me. Well, yeah, I got to bring something up on my phone that I forgot. I need to announce something and the only place I have it is on my damn phone. Oh, here we go. You didn't stall long enough. All right. So <laughs> I was about to <laughs> Uh, look at uh, Outlaw Bill and a couple of you guys over here that are joining us on Dirt Chicken Scripted on Sunday nights. Um, as you guys know, we did our giveaway on that show um, for different things. And I just wanted to just congratulate the winners. Uh, Kennedy won a $5 Starbucks card. Angelina G, Joe G's significant, she won a $5 Starbucks, Starbucks card. Roy H, who is generally here, not here tonight, Container Man 68's his handle. He won a $5 Amazon card. Um, there's uh, Jim and Eileen. They're faithful followers of that show. And uh, Jim's a model railroad guy, too. He got a $10, I can't read it, card. It was something huge, I'm sure. And the grand prize winner. A lot of you railroad guys know Hot Rod Rodney. He won a $25 Amazon gift card. We did that because it was our Christmas show and we just wanted to give back. So congratulations to the congratulations, winners. Congratulations, Rodney, and all you winners. Make awesome. sure if we haven't contacted you, send me an email, steve at dirtguymedia.com because they're email gift certificates and we want to hook you up with them. Um, I'll tell you what. Um, Okay. Hey, uh, Mark DeBarge over in chat. I love you, but it's not a railroad show, bro. <laughs> All right. The but since you brought it... No, no, just kidding. Oh, my God, Ron. My, uh, my, my moderators are supposed to take care of that sort of thing. Hey, seriously, Mark, and no big deal. I'm not trying to diss you. Um, that's Ron's job. Anyway, hey, so Ron, Marsh. Yes, sir. Of Ron's Strains and Things. I'm going to wear your shirt Saturday on... Um, Track smack, by the way. So, Ron, here's the deal. We've already talked about our New Year's resolutions, right? And and just a quick recap. There's people are going to say, I want to quit smoking. I'm going to quit drinking. I'm going to get a better job. I'm going to get a better spouse. I'm going to be a better spouse. I'm going to buy a new car. Blah, 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 right? Laundry list of things. And, and I would say maybe our summary point at that point is um, that's cool and all. Uh, maybe narrow that list down a little bit. We'll get more into that. Here, I'll point at you. We'll get more into that in just a second. The second act was talking about the success of these goals and basically how like 12% or fewer of the populace actually pulls off those goals. And, and <clears throat> we talk about some of the kind of reasons why I kind of touched on it. So sort of saying that's all sort of the canvas that you and I have sort of laid out there. Let's really get to the meat of the discussion in the time we have remaining, if you'll indulge me. And that is basically, I'm calling it tips for achieving uh, those goals, that's that's a, that's a lame ass. It's not tips for achieving those goals. And, and the reason I'm saying it like that, Ron, is because this is a pretty serious um, thing. We already, we already talked about it. It's a life-changing, it can be life-changing, but it can also be life-destroying in extreme cases because if you continue to set that goal and don't hit it, and then the next year you do it again and don't hit it, Basically, unless you change something, you're doing the same thing, expecting a different result. Result, And everybody knows that that's insanity, right? Doing the same thing over and over and over, expecting the same result and not getting it. So something has to change. There's got to be something. So I fired the first shot on the very first part. So I would like you to fire this shot and be gentle with me. I've gone all day without a nap. Well, I think I, I think you're absolutely right, Steve. In that, 
you know, a lot of times we joke around about New Year's resolutions and, you know, we say things that are, you know, silly, goofy, things that we know we won't do. Um, but, you know, a lot of us have some things in our lives that we desperately need to change that can not only be life altering, but literally can be life and death. I mean, some of the things that you, you're talking about, I mean, you know, getting your health under control, you know, you know, watching weight. I, you know, I'm, I've got high cholesterol. I'm diabetic. If I don't get my weight under control and do something serious, it literally could could mean an early death. That's 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 not joking around. That's not joking. Oh, uh, and and if we get in the habit of letting ourselves off the hook easy, saying, "Well, I'll make a resolution, and then if I fall apart in two weeks, you know, you know, so what?" and just being flippant about it, we we get ourselves into a really bad pattern uh, of making light of some extremely serious issues, and we actually come to a place where we end up lying to ourselves, uh, and you know, lying to anybody can, can get you in a lot of trouble. But when you start to lie to yourself and start believing your own lies, um, there's there's not a lot of help for you at that point. You know, okay. um, so but I I mean, you, we mentioned earlier, you you mentioned earlier the idea of you know narrowing things down, start with something manageable. Okay, I may not be able to do all of these things. You know, this month, this year, whatever. But but here's a piece that I can do. Um, you know, when I first started trying to take control of my diet, um, you know, there are a lot of things that I needed to change there. I couldn't change them all at once. I, I, I had to do some increments, you know. So, okay, what's the first thing, the thing I most desperately need to do? Okay, I and I set out the first time I did this. I said, okay, there are two things, and I'm going to decide just immediately I'm going to do. First one is I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna stop drinking soda pop because it's killing me, and I drink too much of it, and it's horrible. It's poison. And uh, and if you Coke or Pepsi, you're watching me. Uh, don't sue me. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the second thing, the second thing was I said I'm gonna stop going through drive thrus I didn't even say I was gonna stop eating fast food, but I said I'm not gonna go through the drive thru If I'm gonna eat fast food, I'm going to park in the parking lot and go into the restaurant and buy it and eat it. Which effectively meant that I wasn't going to eat fast food because the whole reason you eat fast food is because you're going to the drive-through in a hurry. But yeah, but that worked. That worked for me. You know, those were two little things, but it was a big step forward. And and once I kind of got those under my belt, then I could do more, and it kind of helped give me that motivation that we were talking about earlier because I had some success and a little piece that that got me started. You know, on the rest. Uh, I feel you on that, and and something that occurs to me as you're talking about that is uh, something I said last week when it came to sort of getting out of the depression or getting out of whatever and being merry and jolly at Christmas, right? Uh, and that is, if you don't want to get anywhere, then then just we're not talking to you right now. I, if if you don't want to make a life change, if you don't want something to benefit or improve what you're doing. Uh, in your life to get somewhere, then, then we're not we're not talking to you. So so we're going right. under the presumption that there's some people out there that actually want to do something more with their lives or 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 healthier something. And <clears throat> Ron, I'm going to throw a curveball at you. Uh, one of the things that I was uh, uh, living the dream. We talked about it in the living the dream one a couple episodes ago. Is like there's a basic human need we have, right? Uh, different needs, basic basic human needs. And uh, yeah, that's what the psycho people say anyway, right? So whatever. Yeah. But here's the thing. If you want to set that goal, do you, do you think it helps to roll back and try to understand if, what part of you wants to make that happen? Because if your goal is just to make more money in and of itself, well, A, make more money is, is not really a definable goal. I want to make a hundred thousand. I'm going to make 50,000 more money. Doesn't help. Better job doesn't help. So if you can sort of, I think for me, anyway, it works. If I can get down inside and go, you know what? I want to be more content. I want to be happy or something like that. And so what are the steps to, to get that? I mean, cause weight loss would, would, would fall into that, right? Security. You know what? Let's just pretend that you're 20 years old right now, Ron. <laughs> Because you're not. <laughs> I'm not? <laughs> you're not. 
I'm 20 and I want to live to be 40, so I'm going to make a change <laughs> because I don't want to feel like I'm going to die every day or something like that. Right. Uh, does any does any of that what I'm saying make any kind of sense right now as it far does. as making yeah. that connection? And and with that, uh, it's not a motivator though because we don't do motivation on this channel, baby. That's what I'm saying. Anyway. Um, uh, look, I think, I don't know, are you getting chat over at Derek Your Is there anything in there that uh, you want to address while we're... Uh, well, I got to listen to you and I wasn't watching. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's. I'll be honest with you, I think it's the New Year's thing. It's a little slower in chat than we're, we're accustomed to. And um, it's, uh, it's not you, it's me, I promise. But I would say, I think you've said this, and so so here I go. There's got to be that one thing that is going to have the most significant impact, right? I think you hinted at this, if not overtly said it, by the way. There's that one thing that's going to have the most significant impact. For me, like I said, it's it's got to be a way to be in the moment where I'm at being there. Hey, you guys, you guys remember Star Wars, by the way? Ron, I, I'm on a sidebar right now, Ron, because I have ADD, you know, just like you do, baby. Uh, here's an ADD for you. Um, Luke, uh, Luke Skywalker. Oh, <laughs> whoa. At first I was scared. I thought I was going to get shot and now I'm over it. Hey, no, if, if you remember, um, there's Luke when he first meets Yoda, yada, yada, yada. And Yoda goes like this. He goes, Oh, for a long time. I've watched this one. Never his mind on where he was, what he was doing. All right. That's the worst Yoda I've ever heard. <laughs> well, it's coming over the internet. If it was live, if you were here, that would have been awesome, people. I've been paid to do my Yoda voice. Hey, listen, the, the thing is, it's like you're always running off. Never his mind on where he was and what he was doing. So for me, that's like a thing. I need to be in the moment where I'm at and what I'm doing. That'll, that'll make a lot of significant life changes possible for me. Um, so that's mine. But let, let's just say... Let's pretend we're not Ron Marsh and that we weigh 800 pounds, not 400 pounds. Just kidding, Ron. Wow. I whispered it. I don't think he heard me, but he'll hear me on the replay. I heard you. Crap. <laughs> Look at your faces turning red. Holy crap. We're going to lose them. 911. Where's Joe G when you need him? Um, so, no, anyway, it's like, well, let's think about it. If, if you are self-conscious about your weight, that's going to affect a whole lot of things, right? So maybe instead of saying, uh, this year I'm going to read more books, which isn't a bad thing. Maybe this year it's like, uh, this year I'm going to set out to, let's just say lose 100 pounds or 10 pounds a month and then break that down and just start working on that. That's the most significant one. And you know, what I've seen, uh, weight loss being an example, what I've, I've seen happen is people that start going down that path and start to see the improvement really feel good about it. And so that, that just sort of fuels the fire. I mean, I know I've been babbling a bit here, Ron, but does any of that make any sense to you? I absolutely, I know. I mean, it, I mean, again, the weight loss thing here is just a microcosm of whatever it is that you need to change. But, you know, before I, you know, did what I did five years ago, I felt horrible all the time. I, every day I was lethargic. I hurt all over, I was miserable. Uh, I, I changed my diet. I started running. I lost some weight. I felt fantastic. I felt like I could do anything. Um, now I'm kind of, you know, back on the other end and I want to, I want to get back there again. Um, but yeah, and I don't think, you know, whatever that, you know, if you're talking about serious change you need to make, yeah, I think that's exactly right. I think, um, just that sense of, you get the sense of euphoria just from being successful, even if like, again, just a little step along the way. Um, it, it's just rewarding and fulfilling to say, Hey, I set a goal, however small it was, and I made it. And if I can do that, then I can do the next thing. I, I agree. And you know, I, we're getting a little long in the tooth here on the, the freaking broadcast, but, um, well, actually what, and I'm not kicking you off the show, Ron, I, I'm, I'm just saying we're going to close the show because we all have lives. My New Year's resolution is to not keep you on my damn show as long as I would like to. <laughs> um, if, if you wanted to just wrap it up real quick, I mean, if you had like three or four sentences or something like that, you just want to encourage all of us in the importance of and the ability to set uh, goals as New Year's resolutions, uh, throwing you on the spot, what would that be? 
I would say, and, and in part, I'm going to say this in response to some things that I've been reading all through the chat from Dustin's InScale Railroad, who is obviously struggling with some of these very issues. I would say whatever the change is that you know you need to make, pick a, pick a, pick a small first step. Give everything to, to accomplishing that first step. If you fail, pick yourself up and start again. Fail forward. And small increments along the way are, I mean, you, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. Uh, and Amen. whatever that life change is, you will eat the elephant one bite at a time. Amen. And that actually, that is, I think I've heard that from somebody. It must have been you I heard that from. That is an awesome piece of advice. I'm sure I stole it from somebody. <laughs> you probably stole it from me, you rat bastard. But... Um, <laughs> I, you know, this channel, we're trying to uh, laugh and be silly and be controversial and expose controversies and stuff, but, or uh, conspiracies. But what I'm, I'm really hoping that, that we're, we're going to be able to do here and, and what you've helped us do here tonight is more than just that. It, it's the encouraging and empowering part of this. And so here's the thing. I know I'm committed to it and I know Ron, our buddy Ron over there, is committed to people's life change in a positive way. And so now if you, if you were to go back and watch this replay, understanding what the end of this video is, you go to the beginning, you start watching it. I really think you're going to then see that that's been the theme of this. And it's like, oh, I don't know what to expect. Well, now you know what to expect um, from this sort of thing. And so my final point on this is, is that if, if there is that thing that you, that you need to do, if, if you're not, if you're depressed, if you're self-conscious, if, if there's something damaging you physically, a bad habit, a bad something, a couple of things that can be done. One is you pick, I don't know, maybe it's just break it down to pick the worst one for starters, the most immediate concern for starters. Write that down. And a lot of us, we tend to go through it alone. Um, or try to. I'm a loner. I don't really get advice from people. I, have, I sort of almost pulled teeth out to get some coaching from Ron, our guest, on some things I needed. Um, but get someone else involved. Get someone to hold you accountable. Because if it's worth setting the goal, it's worth taking those actions to do it. So if you're not prepared to set the goal, come up with a plan, have an accountability partner, whatever the hell you want to call it, um, a friend, a family member, somebody, some perfect freaking stranger that you can trust, then why don't you save yourself the heartache and the headache and just don't set the goal. I mean, what's the point if you're not willing to commit to it? So anyway, we'd like to encourage you to set those damn goals and make it happen. And next year on this broadcast, tell us how well you did. Okay. So anyway, Ron, Marsh, <clears throat> it was a joy and a pleasure to have you on the show tonight, sir. It was a pleasure to be here. I appreciate it, Steve. Enjoyed it. Well, from the from the bottom of my heart, I, I need to tell you, you owe me one. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I owe Steve I owe one. Steve some crap. Oh, wait. You give me that all the time. All right. So, everybody, hey, might we all say thanks to Ron for being here. And, Ron, we'll, uh, we'll check in with you a little bit later in the week. All right, brother? Sounds awesome. All right. See you later. Well, there you go, everybody. That was Ron Marsh uh, live on the broadcast, hooking us up with some information. Now, here's, here's something I, I want to share with you just before I let you go, okay? Uh, and you guys are probably all checking out anyway. Whatever, it's that time of night. If you <clears throat> want to be on this show as one of my guests, or if you know somebody that should be on this show that might be interested as one of my guests, make sure to contact me at steve at dirtguymedia.com, all right? We're going to be perfecting some of the quality of the audio and video and stuff. But I'd really like to see more people so you don't just listen to my glad-handing mouth barfing out stuff on the internet. I would like to hear what you think live on this show. So I'm just going to go over to chat by myself for a second. Boy, what do you guys think? Was that awesome having Ron on the show? Is there a way you guys can clap over there in chat? Just clap. Clap away. Clappy McClapsters. Anybody? Anybody? Nobody's clapping. Hey, uh, Kennedy Brown, uh, one of our winners of our contest Sunday night is here right there in chat. She loves the fireworks. What do you think of my matrix rain behind me right now? I think it's awesome. That's what I think. 
Steven Spry is going to walk more this year. That's the key. Us overweight people, LOL. Steven Spry, I am not shitting you. If you want to lose weight nearly effortlessly, results may vary. You got to go to the keto thing. Go to go to uh, Facebook at Everybody Keto. Uh, have a dialogue with Cindy Brown for Slated Keto. I am not kidding you. It is almost like a miracle drug. And... Um, it's amazing what happens there. Steven Spry was a metaphorical elephant, Dustin. <laughs> hey, Steven, thanks for coaching the other chat people. That's great. I was too busy talking to Ron. Anyway, we're running out of time here. Anybody else got, hey, look at Steven Spry's clapping. Thank you, Steven. You're the man. Or he's got the clap. I don't know. One or the other. Um, it's okay, boy, you guys, Dustin, that's what I want to avoid. I saw my dad drop dead at 54 when his heart exploded. I don't want that. Well, that's where, you know, Ron was talking about, uh, motivation and stuff and, and how uh, he and I have a slightly different take on it. I'm not saying his way is wrong, slightly different take on it, but I'll tell you, uh, that would motivate you, wouldn't it? And so, but there's ways and it's not that difficult. Uh, we don't have time for it in this broadcast, but we will talk about it more. I assure you as time goes on. So, hey, look, Ron, he's over in chat. Just can't get enough of this freaking show. Dustin, you can do it one small step at a time. And he's talking about this new channel. Now, we don't normally let people promote their own channels on this channel, but Ron is on to something with this new channel he's got coming out, I am going to subscribe to it, people. And uh, maybe I'll be a guest. Probably not, because he actually wants subscribers. He doesn't want people to check out when they see my ugly mug. Uh, watch it for uh, whatever works well road. Okay, anyway, hey, there you go. That's about all the time we have. One little long on this particular episode tonight because of our good friend Ron Marsh, and we just could not get enough of what he was saying uh, on the deal. And, you know, I think um, I'll just give you a, a, my fun fact and then we're going to close it up. Fun fact. Fun fact number 12. <laughs> Three minutes to go and I spring a freaking fun fact on you. Here's the fun fact. Ron Marsh. When I was like 18, baby ran my 10Ks in 32 minutes. The last year I ran, I was 13 seconds off the winning Olympic time. That's a fun fact, people. I, I, I got sick and I never ran again. You think I could have been a gold medalist or something, but huh, I didn't set a goal. I didn't resolve to do it. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I think we're just going to Boom. Sign out with you guys. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for being here on The Dirt Show. I hope some of what we've talked about here has impacted your life in a great way. Always available for more uh, questions, comments, steve at dirtcatmedia.com or just leave comments on the videos. Ron's going to jump in there. He's a moderator. He can even comment on some of those. So anyway, thanks again for joining us. My name is Steve Brown and I am The Dirt Guy. Make it a great day, people. I'll talk to you later.